I am Ra. I greet you in the love and in the light of the one infinite creator. We communicate now. Question 58.1. Questioner, would you please give me an indication of the instrument's condition? Answer, I am Ra. This condition is as previously noted except that the physical distortions mentioned have somewhat increased. Question 58.2. Questioner, could you tell me the cause of the increase of the physical distortions? Answer, I am Ra. Physical distortions of this nature are begun, as we have said, due to overactivity of weak, as you call this distortion, portions of the body complex. The worsening is due to the nature of the distortion itself which you call arthritis. Once begun, the distortion will unpredictably remain and unpredictably worsen or lessen. Question 58.3 Questioner, we have tried healing with the diamond crystal. I have tried both using the crystal around my neck and dangling it from a chain held in my right hand. I think that possibly that to do the best work on the wrist I should dangle the crystal just below my right hand from a distance of just a centimeter or two, holding it directly above the wrist. Is this correct? Answer, I am Ra. This would be appropriate if you were practiced at your healing art. To work with a powerful crystal such as you have, while unable to perceive the magnetic flux of the subtle bodies, is perhaps the same as recommending that the beginner, with saw and nail, create the Vatican. There is great art in the use of the swan crystal. At this point in your development, you would do well to work with the unpowerful crystals in ascertaining, not only the physical major energy centers, but also the physical secondary and tertiary energy centers and then begin to find the corresponding subtle body energy centers. In this way, you may activate your own inner vision. Question 58.4 Questioner, what type of crystal should be used for that? Answer, I am Ra. You may use any dangling weight of symmetrical form, for your purpose is not to disturb or manipulate these energy centers but merely to locate them and become aware of what they feel like when in a balanced state and when in an unbalanced or blocked state. Question 58.5 Questioner, am I correct in assuming that what I am to do is to dangle a weight approximately two feet below my hand and place it over the body, and when the weight starts moving in a clockwise rotational direction it would indicate an unblocked energy center. Is this correct? Answer, I am Ra. The measurement from hand to weight is unimportant and at your discretion. The circular motion shows an unblocked energy center. However, some entities are polarized the reverse of others and, therefore, it is well to test the form of normal energy spirals before beginning the procedure. Question 58.6 Questioner, how would you test? Answer, I am Ra. Test is done by first holding the weight over your own hand and observing your particular configuration. Then using the other self's hand, repeat the procedure. Question 58.7 Questioner, in the case of the instrument we are concerned with the healing of the wrists and hands. Would I then test the energy center of the instrument's wrist area? Is this correct? Answer, I am Ra. We have given you general information regarding this form of healing and have explicated the instrument's condition. There is a line beyond which information is an intrusion upon the law of confusion. Question 58.8 Questioner, I would like to trace the energy patterns and what is actually happening in these patterns and flow of energy in a couple of instances. I would first take the pyramid shape and trace the energy that is focused somehow by this shape. I will make a statement and let you correct it. I think that the pyramid can be in any orientation and provide some focusing of spiraling energy, but the greatest focusing of it occurs when one side of it is precisely parallel to magnetic north. Is this correct? Answer, I am Ra. This is substantially correct with one addition. If one corner is oriented to the magnetic north, the energy will be enhanced in its focus also. Question 58.9. Questioner, do you mean that if I drew a line through two opposite corners of the pyramid at the base and aimed it at magnetic north, that would be precisely 45 degrees out of the orientation of one side aimed at magnetic north, that it would work just as well? Is that what you are saying? Answer, I am Ra. It would work much better than if the pyramid shape were quite unaligned. It would not work quite as efficiently as the aforementioned configuration. 
Question 58.10. Questioner, would the pyramid shape work just as well right side up as upside down with respect to the surface of the earth, assuming the magnetic alignment was the same in both cases? Answer, I am Ra. We do not penetrate your query. The reversed shape of the pyramid reverses the effects of the pyramid. Further, it is difficult to build such a structure, point down. Perhaps we have misinterpreted your query. Question 58.11 Questioner, I used this question only to understand the way the pyramid focuses light, not for the purpose of using one. I was just saying if we did build the pyramid point down, would it focus at the queen's chamber position or just below it the same way as if it were point up? Answer, I am Ra. It would only work thusly if an entity's polarity were, for some reason, reversed. Question 58.12 Questioner, then the lines of spiraling light energy, do they originate from a position towards the center of the earth and radiate outward from that point? Answer, I am Ra. The pyramid shape is a collector which draws the in-streaming energy from what you would term the bottom or base and allows this energy to spiral upward in a line with the apex of this shape. This is also true if a pyramid shape is upended. The energy is not earth energy, as we understand your question, but is light energy which is omnipresent. Question 58.13 Questioner does it matter if the pyramid is solid or is made of four thin sides, or is there a difference in effect between those two makes? Answer, I am Ra. As an energy collector, the shape itself is the only requirement. From the standpoint of the practical needs of your body complexes, if one is to house oneself in such a shape, it is well that this shape be solid-sided in order to avoid being inundated by outer stimuli. Question 58.14 Questioner, then if I just use the wire frame that was four pieces of wire joined at the apex running down to the base and the pyramid were totally open, this would do the same thing to the spiraling light energy? Is this correct? Answer, I am Ra. The concept of the frame as equal to the solid form is correct. However, there are many metals not recommended for use in pyramid shapes designed to aid the meditative process. Those that are recommended are in your system of butter what you call expensive. The wood, or other natural materials, or the man-made plastic rods will also be of service. Question 58.15 Questioner, why is the spiraling light focused by something as open and simple as four wooden rods joined at an apex angle? Answer, I am Ra. If you pictured light in the metaphysical sense as water and the pyramid shape as a funnel, this concept might become self-evident. Question 58.16. Questioner, thank you. I do not wish to get into subject matter of no importance. I had assumed that questions about the pyramid were desired by you due to the fact that some danger was involved to some who had misused the pyramid, etc. I am trying to understand the way light works and am trying to get a grasp of how everything works together, and I was hoping that questions on the pyramid would help me understand the third distortion, which is light. As I understand it, the pyramid shape acts as a funnel increasing the density of energy so that the individual may have a greater intensity of actually the third distortion. Is this correct? Answer, I am Ra. In general, this is correct. Question 58.17 Questioner, then the pure crystalline shape, such as the diamond, you mentioned as being frozen light, it seems that this third density physical manifestation of light is somehow window or focusing mechanism for the third distortion in a general sense. Is this correct? Answer, I am Ra. This is basically correct. However, it may be noted that only the will of the crystallized entity makes interdimensional light to flow through this material. The more regularized the entity, and the more regularized the crystal, the more profound the effect. Question 58.18. Questioner, there are many people who are now bending metal, doing other things like that by mentally requesting this happen. What is happening in that case? Answer, I am Ra. That which occurs in this instance may be likened to the influence of the second spiral of light in a pyramid being used by an entity. 
As this second spiral ends at the apex, the light may be likened unto a laser beam in the metaphysical sense and when intelligently directed may cause bending not only in the pyramid, but this is the type of energy which is tapped into by those capable of this focusing of the upward spiraling light. This is made possible through contact in indigo ray with intelligent energy. Question 58.19 Questioner, why are these people able to do this? They seem to have no training, they are just able to do it. Answer, I am Ra. They remember the disciplines necessary for this activity which is merely useful upon other true color vibratory experiential nexi. Question 58.20 Questioner, then you are saying that this wouldn't be useful in our present density. Will it be useful in fourth density on this planet in the very near future? Answer, I am Ra. The end of such energy focusing is to build, not to destroy, and it does become quite useful as, shall we say, an alternative to third density building methods. Question 58.21. Questioner, is it also used for healing? Answer, I am Ra. No. Question 58.22. Questioner, is there any advantage in attempting to develop these characteristics or in being able to bend metal, etc.? What I am trying to say is, are these characteristics a signpost to the development of an entity, or is it merely something else? For instance, as an entity develops through his indigo will a signpost of his development be this bending ability? Answer, I am Ra. This will be the last full query of this working. Let us specify the three spirals of light energy which the pyramid exemplifies. Firstly, the fundamental spiral which is used for study and for healing. Second, the spiral to the apex which is used for building. Thirdly, the spiral spreading from the apex which is used for energizing. Contact with indigo ray need not necessarily show itself in any certain gift or guide depost. As you have said, there are some whose indigo energy is that of pure being and never is manifested, yet all are aware of such an entity's progress. Others may teach or share in many ways contact with intelligent energy. Others continue in unmanifested form, seeking intelligent infinity. Thus the manifestation is lesser signpost than that which is sensed or intuited about a mind, body, spirit complex. This violet rabingness is far more indicative of true self. Are there any brief queries or small matters we may clear up, if we can, before we leave this instrument? Question 58.23 Questioner, I did have a question on what you meant by the third spiral, and if that is too long I would just ask if there is anything that we can do to make the instrument more comfortable or to improve the contact? Answer, I am Ra. We may answer briefly. You may query in more detail if you deem it desirable at another session. If you picture the candle flame, you may see the third spiral. This instrument is well balanced. The accoutrements are aligned well. You are conscientious. I am Ra. I leave you, my friends, in the love and in the light of the one infinite creator. Go forth, therefore, rejoicing in the power and the peace of the one infinite creator. Adonai.